Today, I bought a Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars set. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and welcome back to our Lego update uh, series. Uh, so, about a month ago, you guys know I started this Lego update series. It was kind of a callback to, you know, the original series on YouTube where everyone always used to do their Lego updates of their armies or whatever. And I thought it would be really cool to bring that back. Now, I have spent over $1,000 in the last month on LEGO Star Wars uh, between, you know, minor purchases, uh, purchases for my mock, clone purchases, minifigure purchases, all that stuff. Uh, so before we get into it all, I'm going to ask you all to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It'll help me out a metric ton, and I would really, really appreciate it, and I, it would just be super kind. So, you know, it'll help the channel grow a ton. Just smash the like button. I'm still waiting. You haven't smashed it yet. What are you waiting for? Come on. Now that we're going to get into it, we obviously like to start off with stuff we have gotten. Uh, and I'll just start off right off the way with the big one. And this is the Clone Wars set that I got. This is a sealed uh, Republic fighter tank. Uh, this is, in other words, it is called, I believe, the TX-1000 or TX-130. Uh, it comes with a Clone Trooper Gunner, a Lissacura, and two Battle Droids. I know this is a pretty classic one. They believe this was going for 25 30 bucks back in the day of 2017, so four years old ago. This is a four-year-old set, which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, you know, the box is a little scuffed up, but it's very nice to have, and I'm really actually excited uh, to have this one. This one is a great set. I do have one already. I already have a few gunners, actually, and I have an Alo, so I might keep this sealed for a while. I might open it up uh, at some point in time. I might keep it. I don't know. Uh, and then another thing we also got, I unboxed yesterday, but the file for this recording was corrupted. Uh, but I did open up another three Sith Trooper Battle Packs. Uh, obviously, this is the one that was going for $8 uh, that came with the Sith Trooper, the two Jetpack Troopers, and the uh, Final Order Officer. Um, now, you guys know I am not huge into the sequels. I am obviously Republic Studs. Um, so that is obviously not a hugely exciting thing to me, but it's still neat. Um, to, you know, get for $8, you can't really pass up a battle pack for $8, and I got six of these total, I ended up building one of those on a stream, actually, uh, so I might do a review for it sometime, we'll have to wait and see. But either way, I have loads of stuff I'd love you to show you guys, so we're going to be getting into that right now. So I want to try and guide you on over to the collection area over here, uh, and you will see I got a new Cad Bane, now I saw him in the Bad Batch show and immediately went out and bought him. This was literally like seconds after I finished editing the last, uh, you know, episode. Um, obviously, you'll notice he does not come with his original hat, and I tried buying one on Bricklink. The problem is, they went, it went for 90 cents, and apparently the person had a minimum buy, so it would have cost me $5 to buy the hat, which I thought was ridiculous. Either way, obviously, it's nice to have Cad Bane. I'll get that hat eventually. Um, but, you know, obviously nothing a rush. Obviously, this one's technically probably more accurate to his appearance in the Bad Batch, uh, but I guess I'm more of a purist now in, in, a, in a bit of a way, at least, at least in keeping figures together. Um, I like keeping the originals together, which is great, and I think it looks really good. Now I want to take a look at some Clone Army custom stuff I got, which is a little different. But first I want to take a look at some customs. Um, now first off, I did get some from Firestar Toys. Uh, we got a new Princess Leia. Let me just enhance that. There we go. Uh, that looks great. We also did get one of my new favorite custom mini foot Well, not this one, but this is Mara Jade. She's pretty cool too. We got Shmi Skywalker, which was fantastic. We've also gotten Cobb Vanth since the last update. Uh, all very epic figures indeed, uh, but my favorite personally uh, is going to be the armor, one of the nicest LEGO Star Wars figures I've honestly ever seen, uh, which is really kind of awesome. I really, really, really like this minifigure. It is really cool. Uh, it has a lot of little details, little features, uh, which is very, very nice. Now this section will be a bit quick as I did do a haul video on these, uh, but I did get some new Clone Army Customs, uh, you know, troopers in from Clone Army Customs. They sent me some over uh, for my Venator mock, which I cannot show too much of, but I did spend $200 on that. But it's kind of crazy. We got some awesome minifigures. Again, these are just some of the minifig selections. I'm waiting to buy some helmets. Uh, you know, it's going to be a little while before I can get that one out, probably until September unfortunately. Uh, but we did get a variety of those. We probably got about 12 or 13, uh, which is great. Obviously, I had to swap out the helmets, so I'm going to need to get some new ones, um, but that is exciting nonetheless. I also made Omega from the Bad Batch. Uh, you know, it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, I, I basically took a Luke Skywalker's hair. I believe that is Anna from Frozen's face. I, I have that because I have the Disney CMF series. Uh, that is one of the best guards. You get red arms, 
uh, black legs, and you, I made this little bow and arrow thing. Uh, you know, she, it's a little hard for her to hold it, uh, but it, it does its job. It, it's cool looking, uh, you know, for her to just have around. And that is my little custom Omega, which is actually really neat. Okay, so now it is time to get into the new sets. Obviously, since the last update, every summer set, uh, with the minor exception of the Mandalorian Armorer's Forge, has come out. That will probably be in the next update. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go through it all really quickly. I made a full haul video, you guys know. Uh, but first off, I did get the Grief Cargo one. This has two exclusive figures. Really hyped about this one. I'm going to be having a comparison if it's not up already uh, with this and the AAT. Uh, so that, that should be exciting. I have the Duel of uh, so on Duel of Mandalore. This is Ahsoka and Maul. You're getting a cheap way to get Ahsoka and an exclusive way to get this new Darth Maul. We have the Mandalorian Starfighter. This Adam one's actually behind me. I love the Gar Saxon so much more uh, than I thought I would. It turned out fantastic. I love that. Obviously nice to finally get Bo-Katan. The build's all right, nothing insane, but it's still cool. We also did get the Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber. Um, not a supremely popular one, uh, on my channel at least, uh, but it is still a neat build. I really do like it as a display model. I have it in the background. It is a nice display model. Little pricey. And then we also did get the Boba Fett's Slave one. Not calling it the Starship. I can't do it. Uh, but it is great. I absolutely love, uh, you know, the general features. It's $38 at Costco. I almost bought a second one. Um, but, you know, I don't, you don't really need one. So I will wait to see what it goes for around Black Friday time, which is in November. And obviously, we also did get the UCS Republic gunship. This thing is huge. I am so hyped about it. I have the full build. It's upstairs. Uh, you know, because I need to find somewhere to display it because it is that big. Like, look up. Like, I could probably, like, fit half of my body and just, like, cut it off and put it in this box. It's huge. Um, <laughs> that's morbid. Okay. Um, but yeah, gunship is great. $350. Yikes. Um, but that one's pretty cool, too. And obviously, I got this beautiful set right here. Uh, and this is the Bad Batch Shuttle. One of the best sets, if not the best set of this entire wave. Uh, beautiful, stunning. The figures in this one are fantastic. But, like, just get the set for the figures if you do not even like the build. Obviously, I have my problem with the build. I don't like this, um, how it just lifts up and you can't really grab it, uh, like, by the thin, which is extraordinarily disappointing. Uh, but I really, really do love the Bad Batch show. Uh, the finale will have happened by the time this uploads, and I'm really hopeful nobody dies. Uh, you know, so you guys can all make fun of me after this is recorded and, you know, uploaded. And then we also did get the Moth Gideon's Light Cruiser. Uh, very, very opinionated on this set. Honestly, check out the review uh, if you're curious to hear what I have to say about it. Uh, long story short, not a fan. Uh, you know, you do get some great minifigures uh, that will probably not, not all be exclusive. I don't see one single figure in this staying exclusive, uh, which is great. Other than maybe Moth Gideon, probably not. And that is about it in terms of everything I got this week. It was thousands of dollars, between 200 on the Venator Mach, 900 something, uh, 960, after the taxes it was 1,000, on all the new summer sets, which I'd been preparing for. Uh, we obviously got some of the small stuff like the Cad Bane, uh, the sponsored, uh, you know, Firestar, and all that, and it's really been a great week. Last time we did get some new battle packs, which was nice, uh, but this week has been insane. I am very hyped, you know, obviously this was the most expensive a Lego Star Wars update you're probably going to see pending next summer. Uh, but, yeah. So, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. See you all in the next one. Peace out, and stay awesome.